we are made to reflect that essential splendor, that essential splendor of God's substantiveness and God's luminosity. We need to be bright lights in a dark world. Now, why does the glory depart? I will race through this very quickly. The glory departs, number one, because there was no internalization of the truth. Truth is never intended to be a mere externality. Truth is intended to be internalized. It has to be that which comes from within you, not just that which comes from outside you. That's really what happens at conversion. When you are newly born, when you and I have that new birth and the presence of God comes and lives within us, the divine imperative takes over, yea, nay, yea, nay, that voice that comes from within. And when that voice gets garbled, it is the word to which you go to find the clarity once again how he intended us to live. In this dark world today, we go anywhere but here to find out what God's will is of how we should live. Hence the darkness. We are as confused a culture as I have ever seen in 45 years of ministry. There are no answers out there. In fact, there are only questions after questions after question. And when you see a person from whose eyes you see the brightness of God's presence and from whose words you hear the substantiveness of what life is all about, you understand why knowing Christ brings that brilliant light in your eyes. The people I have seen who have that glory most are those who have really lived with the internal imperatives of how God wants you to live. I'll tell you the truth, and I'm not making this up. Many a time I wish to myself, I could say I'm done. I've paid my dues 45 years, millions of miles, I can tell you what every aircraft looks like, feels like, and who does the best service and who doesn't do very good service, who makes the worst tea. I can tell you all of that stuff. <laughs> but there's only one thing that keeps me going, and that is the firm belief that more than ever, this gospel is the only shining light against the dark background of a confused and messed up world. Robert Jaffrey was a great preacher. The last three years of his life he spent in a Japanese internment camp. He was heir to Canada's largest newspaper, the Globe and Mail. But he started to study Chinese, and the Standard Oil Company wanted to hire him. He decided instead to become a missionary. I have some of his books in my library, Robert Jaffrey. And finally, the Standard Oil Company offered him a huge salary to come and work for them instead of being a missionary, he turned it down. They wrote back and doubled it. He turned it down. Finally, they sent him a telegram, Jeffrey, at any price. He wrote back with one line as well. Your salary is big. Your job is too small. Your salary is big. Your job is too small. You see, your job and my job is to be that bright light wherever we are.